My name is Lindsay Carter, and I'm a mother to a Roberts Elementary pre-K student. I appreciate the opportunity to address the board and to speak to you as both a parent and a Little Rock resident. First, I must say that the developmental advantage that Roberts pre-K program has afforded my family has far surpassed what I could have hoped for. I've seen her grow exponentially over the previous months and now have a profound appreciation for a measurable value that an early childhood education program can provide. As you can imagine, when I learned of the recent decision to discontinue the program beginning next school year, it was disheartening and a shock. And I was not alone. On March 19th, a group of concerned parents convened at a local library to discuss the recent decision to terminate the program at Roberts. We were joined by a handful of district administrators and board members. Together, we discussed the disappointing news and quickly moved on to what we deemed potential solutions and best practices for execution of those solutions. While we may all craft a slightly different approach, I think we are working toward the same objective, to continue to provide pre-K program services to as many children within the district as possible, to reference the district's own vision statement, creating excellence for tomorrow. I urge you to focus on two words here, excellence and tomorrow. When a program that drives measurable and statistical evidence of excellence from both an educational and economic standpoint is in danger of being gone tomorrow, it becomes very difficult to see such a vision to fruition. Therefore, we would like to propose the following actionable solutions. Number one, existing space conversion. We have identified several potential buildings that are within close proximity to Roberts and are currently empty and could potentially serve as a freestanding early childhood education center. A detailed list of these properties has been emailed to each of you. Number two, potential expansion of current school structure. We have contacted Robert's architect, Brian Adams, and he looks forward to meeting with you to discuss expanding the existing structure to accommodate current and future students. We've also contacted Metro Plan's executive director, Jim McKenzie, and they are also receptive to a meeting. Number three, portable building rezoning. While we realize that this may not be ideal, the use of portable buildings would allow for immediate continuation of the current program while affording much needed time to explore more permanent solutions like a freestanding early childhood education center and or expansion of the current building. An overview of the applicable deadlines for the planning commission has been emailed to each of you. Pre-K at Roberts was terminated without warning, not because of performance or demand, but solely because of lack of effective district planning, the very issue which keeps secondary education from our community. Thank you for your time. Thank you.